friends, it's Dwight. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. So just a quick introduction. Um, I just finished doing a painting and I'm downstairs now, but I wanted to let you know that I used a colander pour today and the results are really fabulous. So I'm really excited. I use multiple colors, which you'll see in just a moment. So again, if you have any questions for me, feel free to either ask them in the notes below or you can send me an email at dwightpours at yahoo.com. Okay guys, hold on and we'll get started and show you this exciting pour. Hey friends, here we are back in the studio. I just wanted to show you a little bit about what I use to create my dump and swirl pours. Now I'm gonna be working on a 22 by 28 canvas, as you can see in the background there. It's a Michaels level two gallery wrapped canvas. And this paint down here, there are Tessa brand paints I'm gonna be using. Um, as my color palette, and I'll go over that in just a minute. So I get a lot of questions on my YouTube channel as well as on Facebook about my formulas to create the pearls or the cells that I use when I do my dump and swirls. And what I have in front of me here is the Floetrol, the Flood Floetrol, and the Liquitex pouring medium. That's all I use with my paints. It's one part paint, two to three parts Floetrol, a drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium, and then I use water to thin it out. Now, because my canvas is 22 by 28, um, I'm using my ragged handy dandy chart down here to show me how much paint I need. So if you can see it in there, 22 by 28, that's 21 ounces right there in the middle. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be pouring roughly probably 26 or so ounces when it's all said and done. So the colors I'm gonna be using today, and these are Tessa brand, is this pale green, ultramarine blue, scarlet red, orange yellow, and white. And I'm gonna be doing a colander pour. I like the way the last one turned out, so I'm gonna be using a smaller colander, and um, we're gonna do a pour. Okay, I'm gonna mix the paints. I'm gonna show you the paints once they're mixed, and I'll show you the consistencies, and then we'll get started. Okay, guys, take care. We'll see you in a second. Okay, here we are. The paints are all mixed. There is my colander, and we'll talk about that in just a second. And I did have to replace the sort of um, yellow-orange, and I'm using a copper. Um, it's still Arteza. Uh, the tube apparently had a small hole, or I didn't put the lid on, a little screw top on well enough, and the paints hardened, and so they were clumpy, it didn't work well, so this is all I had <laughs> to use. So um, yeah, so I've got a lot of paint. I think I mentioned before, the paint chart says, uh, 21 ounces. So this right here is 25 ounces. Um, I'm sorry, it's 20 ounces. <laughs> I can't do the math. Um, and then I have about eight ounces of the dump paint. Now remember, I like to have more paint than I need on the canvas because I have to tilt you know, on the edges, on the corners, and I want to make sure that I'm not um, having very little paint, which means I'm not going to get the full coverage that I need and everything gets stretched out. So I'd rather have a little paint left over on the canvas uh, so I can move it around to pop the, bu the bubbles and to open up the cells. So let me show you the consistency. I'll go down here with the blue if I can show you. It kind of just goes right in. I know there's a glare. And that's what you want. I mean, you don't want it too thick. You don't want it too thin. And I know, you know, I know it's difficult sometimes to know exactly how thick or thin. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a while, and so I can eyeball it. But you know, sometimes I'm wrong. It just depends on the paint or the flow trawl. So, fingers crossed that we've got this down for today. Okay. And so here's the colander I'm going to be using now. The last colander pour I think I showed you. Like, if you look in the middle there, that's great. But look at the sides. There's a big distance between the bottom and the first little row of holes. So um, it's interesting then to see how um, this happens. Like you'll see it pooling in the middle and then it'll slowly start to ooze out the corners. So I know Molly does some great colander pours and there are some other artists out there too and I can't remember your names and I apologize right now but um, you know, they have the right kind of colander. And so when they lift it up, there's a beautiful pattern. So I'm not going for a beautiful pattern. I'm just going to put that out there. I am going for um, the mixture of color. Uh, so when I'm, you know, so the colors are all mixed in differently. Um, they're not just poured on top of a puddle, which is nice and clean. 
So guys, I know I can keep on talking here, but what I need to do is I'm gonna prep the corners and the edges. And I do that because I'm using thin paint and I don't want the, the white canvas uh, texture to come through. I want there to be able to, the paint to be able to cling to the corners. Okay guys, hold on, we'll get started here in just a second. Okay, here we are, jazz hands galore. So let's get started. Here's my colander. It's my small colander that I am going to use today. I start with some white. Remember, I use white on the bottom to help brighten up the colors. There's the coppery mix. So I'm sort of following the color wheel, sort of orangish with the red, um, and then put a little bit of blue, and then some white in between the blue and the green. And as you can see, I'm not pouring it straight in, I'm just sort of mixing it around so it has, um, so it can drain out all the holes around the colander edges. A little bit more red, um, the blue, and I think that's about it. Okay, so let's pick this up. I'm sorry, it's not a pretty um, colander pour, but it does the job. Okay, so here's the black. That's about eight ounces of black paint mixed with Floetrol and water and a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium. And I'm gonna swirl it and it's cover as much of the paint as I can before I dump it over the edges. Now, at this point I was thinking, oh, I don't have enough paint. And when I was bringing it over this last corner, I was really concerned. I was like, oh, it's gonna be all stretched out. It was a little bit, but I brought the paint back and look how quickly it's exploding. I mean, I've never had something explode this quickly. Now, I'm gonna let you go here in a second, but I want you to watch the time-lapse because with the time-lapse, what you'll see is the red color coming up. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a second for the walkthrough. this very long because it really filled in and you can even see where the negative space was filled in as well which surprises me it's never happened but I'm going to show you close up because it's it's just so much detail and look at the negative space I mean it's so cool well I, I guess I shouldn't call it negative space <laughs> it's not really negative space but look look at you know the green and the red really showed up and so did the bronze let me walk over to the other side here I mean, it, it sort of reminds me of this one on the wall right there. Um, well, maybe there is something about the colander, using a colander in this type of pour. Yeah, it's just so much going on. I mean, if you noticed when I was pouring and I put the canvas down, um, it filled in like so fast. I was like, holy crap, look at that. It filled in really fast. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of a neat orientation as well, you know, with the flares, so to speak, coming out and sort of a, you know, a, a central spot there. But, you know, what I like about these pores that I do is all the movement. It's not just sort of stagnant. You know, you've got this, the red, everything's sort of sweeping in to this sort of focal point right there. And, and that's what you want on a painting, right? You want there to be an interest, a place for the eyes to rest. And so I think I accomplished that and I'm very happy. Okay, guys. All right. So that was a great Sunday pour. So thanks for joining me. I'm glad that you guys were here and um, we'll see you real soon. I, whoops, I didn't realize that wasn't, <laughs> wasn't focused. 
what I would like to do is I'd like to try this on a large canvas. I have a couple larger than this in my studio, nothing new, um, but maybe I'll give that a shot. Use the colander, I thought, pretty cool. Okay, friends, take care. We'll see you real soon.